so fun. If you haven't started cooking with your dog, you're not doing it right. Hey guys, welcome back to Luna and Loki. Today we are in the kitchen making up some frozen treats for the summertime. It's getting a little hot out there, so I thought that we can make Luna some puppy popsicles or popsicles, if you will. Michael's not here today to help us out with all the puns, so I'm on my own. Um, <laughs> so the recipe, once again, I have to give all the credit to this little booklet here that I got from Ross. And this was a $5.99 steal. It came with all the little bone shapes and it has a bunch of really great recipes in here. Uh, if you want to see those other recipes, they are on my channel. So check those out. If you do like recipes for uh, making treats for your dogs, please consider subscribing to our channels as we do make a lot of recipes here. Um, I'm all about making treats for my little one since I love cooking so much. So all you need is a muffin tin or something of this nature that you can freeze um, your popsicles. So this is organic pumpkin. This is the store brand one. You don't have to use organic if you don't want to, but I, I like to if I can. And then we're going to use one cup of Greek yogurt. Let's see how she reacts to the Greek yogurt. Oh, nummy. Is that so nummy? So this is my Greek yogurt, just a plain Greek yogurt. And then I am going to sprinkle in some kibble as well. So whatever kibble you already use, go ahead and just get some of that. I'm actually going to add these into the mix. They are my pork and sausage, or pork, sorry, pork and chicken sausage chews from Costco. I'm only adding these for aesthetics, kind of just uh, as like a handle. You do not have to do this, but if you, I have seen other people use like dog bones as the handle. You're gonna take your one can of pumpkin and your one cup of Greek yogurt and you're just gonna mix them together. Anna, you wanna lick the spoon? We're gonna eat it all before we even get a chance to freeze it. Taste testing done. Check. Luna approved taste testing. Stir it together. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just line the tray with some kibble. The kibble is optional, but I figure it doesn't hurt to add it. I'm just gonna actually slice these in half to use as my like popsicle stick. To be honest, it's actually kind of a good idea for me to even have her helping me out up here because then I know she's not getting into trouble in the house somewhere else because puppies get into everything. Evenly divide your mixture. You just filled up the tins. <laughs> oh goodness, now look at her. <gasps> Luna, look at you. Oh my goodness, you're a mess. You're a mess. Okay, now I'm just gonna stick in my chicken sticks. They stand pretty nice and tall. And like I said, you can use um, a bone, like a milk bone type. Um, excuse me, Missy. These are not done yet. You have to wait for them to freeze. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. If you haven't started cooking with your dog, you're not doing it right. <laughs> this is the only way to cook. <laughs> oh my goodness. True bonding at its finest. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. Okay. I don't even think she has. 
had this much. Okay, I think we're done. Um, she didn't even have this messy of a face when we took her to get her cappuccino. Okay, we gotta show everybody her, her face. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we just put our popsicles in the freezer and we're gonna give them some time to get nice and hard. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye, we'll see you next time. Hope you give us a like and subscribe. Bye. Yummy!